safety. Um, and a couple of the sort of typical problems that come up when it's not performed well. Um, it's one of these exercises that a lot of people do and they do quite badly. Um, and they always say that they don't feel any ab engagement and therefore it's not worth while doing. But actually if you do a couple of technique tweaks and make sure you're in the right position for it, it's a very, very effective exercise for core strength, for anti rotation, for anti extension. Oh, let's go through the basics and we'll just get the, the setup done and then we'll take you through the, the three common um, mistakes that I see and how to fix each, each one of them. Okay, so you would set up in the quadruped position, knees stacked below the hip, hands stacked below the shoulder, from here, a little bit of engagement through the lats, squeeze the lats down towards the hips, and then from there you're going to lift one leg off and the opposite arm reaching out and get in a flat, steady position. Okay. Now, when you do that, weight is evenly distributed between the support leg and the support arm. Core has to work quite hard to maintain position to stop you from dropping into the moving side hip or the moving side shoulder. So, the first issue that you commonly see with this one is as this hand comes off, you drop into it. So, you're losing engagement in your shoulder, the serratus isn't doing its job. Um, you're rotating into that kind of dropped position um, and your abs aren't really doing much of anything because you're now hanging off of the shoulder. So to correct that one, as soon as this hand goes to move, shift your weight slightly onto this arm, onto the support arm, and drive away from the floor. Okay, so you should feel the underside of your arm come, come on, your serratus kind of kicking on, and you feel your lat and your pec kind of working as well. So you drive into that arm, and that stops the shoulder from dropping into it because you're now engaged under here. If that's an issue, and you find it difficult to maintain that position, then simply keep both hands on the floor, and work on pushing the floor away while you get the leg drive happening first. So what that would look like is push away from the floor, stay engaged and get the leg going. And you'll feel as this leg goes, this arm has to take more weight and you'll feel the weight transfer between the hands. And that will help you develop the strength that you need in order to stop that rotation of the shoulder happening. The second issue that you see is the lower body version of that. And what that looks like is, is as the leg drives, the support leg you drop into that kind of movement there okay so from this side what you'll see is that as my right leg comes off you sag back onto the left and now at this point my abs really aren't doing very much of anything but my hip is taking all the load and my low back is taking more of the load so again the fix for that one is on the arm end of things so as you drive the right leg back you're shifting the weight slightly towards your right arm and that stops you from sagging back so if you shift the weight that way you're not going to be sagging back that way all right so as the right leg goes shift a little bit of weight onto the left arm and that stops you from sagging back onto this hip all of a sudden your abs are engaged your low back still working but not nearly as much and you're taking more load through the shoulder okay. the third one is all of those things are looking fine you're not shifting uh, out onto one arm, you're not dropping into it, you're not shifting back onto your hips, but you're overarching at the back and you're losing engagement through your midsection. Okay, so the point here is not only to maintain a flat and level hip and shoulder position, but to not overextend through your low back. What you kind of often see is this kind of thing here, where the back's arched. You're trying to kick too high with this leg and you're losing the kind of coordination between the pelvis and ribcage that you need to protect your spine okay so with that one the typical culprit is trying to kick the leg too high and not back okay so what you're doing is you're trying to do this good kind of glute kick back kind of thing causing you to arch in through your low back and um, losing engagement in your abs and losing the effectiveness of the exercise so from here what you want to do tuck slightly so your pelvis and ribcage kind of come together slightly and then you're going to drive back, not up. Okay, you don't have to be far off the floor on this one. The typical guideline that I look for is shoulder, hip, and heel, all in alignment. Okay, now if that means that you're six inches off the floor here, or your foot off the floor, it doesn't matter. You get the same effect. Okay, but you maintain a better position through your midsection, so you're going to get more uh, strength work done through the middle, 
and get more effectiveness from the exercise. Okay, hope that helps. If you have any questions about any other exercise, fire them over and I'll get them dealt with.